Hey there YouTube. Um, well, I don't know if you remember, but my, my power supply sort of. I still have not managed to fix it. Um, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with it, but what I know is that I can replace it for £47 if I want to get one of those. Um, but I want to try and utilise some of the things I've got. Like I've got this uh, this meter. I've got this buck converter. It's just gone dark outside, so let's put some light on. I uh, got this this uh, boost converter, and I've got these step down converters. Now, I did think about connecting the boost converter to my battery output from my solar panel, and then I could use a couple of step down converters. Uh, that wouldn't be so so terrible. You take that up to well. I could take this up, you know, depending on what voltage I put in. But I know that I have had an open voltage of um, 80 odd volts with the 11 volts going in. I think that's correct. Maybe it was 45 volts. 45 volts with 11 volts going in. But I've also got a couple of these. Now, this, um, it's been tested, this works. This is an Xbox 360 power supply. And so is this. Now, the reason why the cover's off this one is because I just wanted to see oh, um, how bad it was. Because the actual case itself is pretty damn grimy, and uh, and I want to I want to clean it up. I I got a whole box in. I went to a, a junk like a um, car boot sale, and there was some bits and pieces, and I found this in in a box of junk, and thought I'd give it a go. Two quid. Two quid um, for Xbox 360. 175 watts. It says on it, you can see that it's 175 watts anyway. 14.2 amps at 12 volts. So, and I've got two of them. Okay. So, I wasn't even going to do the video, you know, but it says because I cut these off here and these are already cut and pulled together, but I've not tested these. Now, what I want to do. Because from what I understand is I've got a, 12, a high ampage 12 volt output, right? And then it's split off into three protected legs. And I'm wondering, because I'll tell you what I've got coming. I've got a, because the current control doesn't work on here, alright? So that makes that a little bit, if I want up to 10 amps, with some voltage but it doesn't go below like 10 11 volts this is what i want but i found this thing which is basically it's a dual board it's called a pressure lift system um, and basically what it is is it's got a buck converter on here and it's got a boost converter built into it and it will give you i think it's up to 50 volts no 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 you know, there's so many things I've read on these, I've got to be careful not to get mixed up. But anyway, basically the one that I've got coming gives you, I think it's up to 35 volts, 5 amps. Um, and it'll also, and that runs from 12 volts going into it. So I could run on one of these 12 volts going into it. And because it's only a 5 amp system, what I want to do is I want to find out which pairs of these go. And I'm wondering whether I can have 3 power supplies off one of these supplies. Individually protected. So I can have a 5 amp, another 5 amp, and another 5 amp. Now I've seen some great little um, some great little control units which have got watts and volts, amps and watts. And they all go up to 5 amps that they can, well there's about 7 or 8 they reckon, but 5 amps is good. Um, and I'm wondering you know, if I can get a price on them, I could get 3 of those into 1 and have one of these power that. I could, uh, you know, I've only got 12 volts on the output, but I've got 14 amps per one of these. Now, what I want to do first as well is test, make or break type thing, because I was going to connect them all up and series them. So, bind those positives together there, the yellows, connect them to the negative that side, and then I've got positive here, yellow, and then negative on this side, and see if I've got 24 volts. So, just before I get into any more... Um, playing around with these 
I'm gonna see basically if I can run two of them in series. So there's one lead, look, the output and all the 12 volts are tied together, all the grounds are tied together. The switch is tied together there, so it switches on. And on the other side we've got the same thing, exactly the same thing. And then there's a jump lead going between positive and the negative. Positive on this cable, negative on this cable, positive on there, negative on there, going up towards the multimeter. And I've just chucked both of these so they can be switched on basically at the same time. And so I've just kicked in. And we've got 24.4 volts on the output. Which is great because that was backed up with like 14 amps. That's a lot of power to play around with. So I've also got this uh, power supply underneath here, which I've just checked and that seems to be working fine as well and that will give me 3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts, negative 12, uh, half an amp um, but still quite a lot of current there so just pull that light up a bit so uh, I've, well, I, I've made a sort of power supply, there we go I'm using this uh, boost converter and at the minute we got we got 36 volts on there I'm about to turn that up actually to 40 volts which I'm not sure if I should do, uh, but I just want, I just want. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't. Cause I'll be turning that up way too much. I need probably need to turn it down actually, more to like a, just just a lower voltage. Let's say 24 volts. But yeah, that's a bit cheating because basically what I've done is look, see this lot. Of, I've got the two power supplies. I put them in uh, in series. And I've just stuck it into here. So now I've turned down to 24 volts. What was I on? I was on 36, I think, wasn't I? Let's have a little look, because uh, what of them? Yeah, so just playing around with this little thing, just to make sure that we got a, that we got power. And it all works. And I've got a thermal fuse. My thermal fuse are these wires here. Uh, they do get quite warm, especially as I've had it up slightly higher voltage. Uh, I'm going to turn this back up to 36 volts, but I was actually going to go to 40. So, but I don't want to. I don't want to break my flyback. I thought it was broken, but I don't want to break it. So, just while that's there, I'm just going to see what sort of current this draws. Okay. If I turn this off. But I expect my thermal fuse, which like I say, oh that is hot, yeah that is hot, it's too hot to touch. Um, they're not going to allow me to go too far. Now, of course, what I really want to test is, uh, is that coil up there, and put that onto the output of this. I've decided for my next switch mode power supply, I'm going to use these two switch mode power supplies and I'm going to make them two into my next bench power supply, let's say, which is going to have you know, a couple of few outputs on it. Um, well, at least I know that still works. So I'm going to get the coil down now and give that a go. I don't think I'll start it on 40 volts though. I think I'll go all the way down to as low as I can. With this configuration and that's 24 volts. Just because like I say those two 12 volt outputs of these two here. These two uh, Xbox power supplies are in series. So they're giving me 24 output. 24.4 uh, volts there. Um, you know with a 14, 14 amp load on them. If I want to. Um, that's quite a lot really isn't it so let's switch this over to the coil and have a look play with that ok so I've set up the coil and I've put my basically it just lets me know whether um, whether I've got an output or not at low voltage but look, I'm on 28 volts and I've put a coil on there with more windings 
and it works out for me like this that the least of I draw more current with one turn so I put a piece of wire just around here and back to here yeah one piece of wire just goes around and back to here and I draw more current so in order for me not to draw so much current I've put on a coil with more turns this one's got four turns I've got another coil with three I've got another one with two and I've got one with one uh, but this is at 28 volts now I'm watching what I have on the back in the background some quasars and quirks, quarks and all this sort of stuff going on and what's just happened is I was on 42 volts unknowingly and I set this going uh, as you can see we've got resonance, resonance and I set it going and my speakers now I've tripped out my computer before with this so I'm not going to go I'm not going to try and draw more power through it because I could look at any of my other videos and you see what I do when I've got the um, single turn or two turn coil on it makes a big difference to how much power this draws and I've got capacitors on these are the capacitors that are in line with it um, but that's that's what it's doing half a volt, half an amp sorry at uh, 28 volts but watch what happens if I go up a little bit or I don't want to break my computer this is what I don't want to do and I did just think about taking it into the room so I'm going to put it on 40 volts okay but remember it's not going to be drawing the power now I've got 24 volts going into this boost converter and I've got 40 volts coming out now so let's uh, you see this is the sort of poltergeist stuff I don't want going on inside my computer room 40 volts right watch okay let's it sends everything nuts watch my computer that's alright but hear the noise that thing on the screen is me paused it it's not just <laughs> but it's affecting this light here quite a bit so if I turn that off but as you can hear that comes out of my computer quite a bit um, and I don't really want that going through radiating through this room because the reason why my computer is sat down there outside there again is because I had to dismantle it because the last time when I ran this um, well the second to last time when I ran this I blew my computer first it wouldn't boot up, it wouldn't do all sorts well it basically just wouldn't boot up, I say it wouldn't do all sorts I mean uh, even getting past the BIOS was a problem for it okay and so what I don't want to do is I don't want to do that again really and this is why I'm hardly drawing any power through this, you look at this, look, 40 volts takes it down 1.3 but it affects uh, at least we haven't got the noise coming out the speakers now I wonder why that is that's not the 40 volts now I know that these um, these tip 35s can go up to I think it's 100 volts but I want to give it an overhead of you know I mean 40 volts is getting pretty close to it so I wonder if I can take it to 50 that's a big old jump as well isn't it so maybe 45 to start off with the first sign of it doing any damage to my computer and I'm going to switch it off so let's have a look and get ready to press them together so that's 43 volts oh I can actually feel it on me wow I can feel on my arms and my forearms it was like a I tell you it felt like a little needles just on a few parts of my skin oh I, I don't know maybe that's not me but I know now that I'm radiating enough problems for it to go through the earth system into my computer which has just gone off screen. Please don't let be anything dodgy. Now so. nah, we're good. We're good, we're good. So at least I know my, my coil still works. I need my transistors with anyway. And I know that my Jacob's ladder thing here, even though you can't see it, 
uh, I know that still works. Uh, I'm going to get into the process of building a voltage um, a charge pump circuit. Mm. Mm. So, well, I can't. At least I know they work. Um, both of those being dug out the box and um, or boxes, I should say. One was right in the back of my cupboard as well. That was a lot of pain. Uh, and so they are what I'm going to use. And so what I'm going to be able to do, I'm hoping that if I do blow like the front end of this, I I only blow this. Yeah. And I'm actually going to build another front end anyway. And I'm going to buy a couple of front ends um, for these supplies here. Hmm. But yeah, so 44 volts, look, 44 volts into this tip 35. I might be able to tell a bit more fun with that. I might be able to put something on the top of there. So it's got no, no plate on there for capacitance or anything. It's just taken from the air. And I'm using my really, really thin wires um, in order to have them as like a sort of fuse because apart from having this fuse in here I don't really have a great deal I do realise that these are fused and they've got all sorts of safety protection on them as well which is really really good uh, yeah so oh, I don't even interested in this whole thing but I just like playing around with it and I just wanted to see I mean I should take it up a little bit higher shouldn't I go on let's take it up a little bit higher I just don't want to kill my computer So let's go 50 volts, yeah. Okay. Pretty. The flashing of the light thing is doing my head in. Uh, 50 volts. Uh, just for the single, for a little tiny go, I'm going gonna, gonna to push that now. Just because we can. Let's go for the 60.5. Okay, that's so definitely doing some out my speakers. I'm going to go up very, very slightly now and just see if I can just push this a little bit further. And I'm going to go to 65 volts and a little bit. 65.1. Just uh, see what this is like now, but this is probably going to be the last one because I expect something to go pop now. Definitely lots of sound, and then we get that come up nice. Okay, so let's turn that off. But we were, well, I didn't see what power it was drawing actually. So look, that pulls it down to 44 1.85 amps. Hmm, I wonder why that does that. So there should be enough power to come through all this. But uh, that's going to limit it a little bit. Having all those turns there. Hmm, and maybe the wires as well. Because to be completely honest with you, even though they're not burning up, I can't really see them allowing a whole great deal of current through that voltage. So another little quick look. Look, it still keeps pulling it down. But we had to go anyway. I could try some of the coils with it, but I'm going to get my dinner first. So anyway, if you got this far, cheers for watching, guys, and I'll um, I'll carry on doing some experiments and see if anything good comes out of it all. Or see if anything goes bang. That's always a good one. Cheers for watching. Bye.